Let's talk about how to use your Strato Timer GMT. In order to first get started, the watch may be dead. So in order to get it wound up, we're gonna have to manually wind it up. To do that, unscrew the crown counterclockwise until the crown pops out. In the normal position, turn the crown clockwise for a minimum of 25 turns for a partial wind prior to setting the time. You'll notice the second hand will begin to sweep. Now let's set the reference time. The reference time is your home time in your respective time zone. In order to set the reference time, pull the crown out to position two. The second hand will stop. Make sure the bezel is in the neutral position with the 24 at the 12 o'clock position. When you're setting the reference time, the hour hand will also move but this can be ignored for now as we will set it later. One thing to note is that the GMT hand doesn't move independently of the hour hand. Because this is a traveler's GMT movement, it is the local hour hand that jumps. The GMT hand is tied to the hour hand. In order to set the GMT, you will notice that the hour hand moves as well. Now let's set the date. Pull the crown out to position one. It is a very subtle click, so be careful to ensure you are not pulling it to position two. Turn the crown in either direction to jump the hour hand forwards or backwards. As the hour hand crosses midnight in either direction, the date will change. The date changes after the hour hand rotates twice around the dial, indicating 24 hours. To set the local hour hand, pull the crown out to position one. Set the hour hand to whichever time zone you are actively in. The hour hand jumps in one hour increments, so be sure you are paying attention to AM and PM. When finished with adjusting time, always be sure to push the crown back in and screw it back in place to ensure water resistance. One thing to note is that the hour hand, when it jumps, does not jump exactly on the hour. For example, when the time is set to 10.30, the hour hand is going to sit exactly in between 10 and 11. When you go to jump the hour hand, it will continue to sit in between the hour markers. Now let's adjust the local hour hand in the case of when you're traveling. When you travel and land in another time zone, you will need to adjust the local time. Pull the crown out to position one, it is a very subtle click, so be careful to ensure you're not pulling it to position two. Set the hour hand to whichever time zone you are actively in. In this example, the local time needs to be adjusted to San Francisco time, which is two hours behind Dallas time. As you adjust the hour hand, the 24 hour hand will remain in place as it continues to keep track of your home time. You can also keep track of a third time zone with the Strato Timer GMT due to its bi-directional rotating bezel. If you know the time difference between your home time and the third time zone you'd like to track, simply turn the bezel so the 24 hour hand is pointing at the appropriate hour indicated on the bezel. In this example, the time in London is plus six hours from Dallas time. So we will rotate the bezel so that the GMT hour hand is pointing at 16. So the time will read 16.10 or 4.10 p.m. The San Francisco time is still going to read 8.10. To refer back to your home time, simply rotate the bezel to the neutral position with the 24 at the 12 o'clock position. 